All right, welcome to Crater Hardware, and today we are going to be rebuilding my test Unraid system. The efficiency on my Xeon just sucks, so we're upgrading. Now let's go over the components that are in this system and what we're gonna be swapping to. So really quickly, we've got a three bay, hot swap bay that's swapped in, in place of five and a quarter inch bays from Rack Choice, just a Chinese hot swap bay. Works fine for my testing. Now the system itself is a used Xeon with a machinist motherboard little flaky in some ways, so I want to get rid of this. The video out is simply an old NVIDIA 295. It's just for video out. Wasn't planning on using it for transcoding. We'll see whether or not that gets swapped in the new system because we'll get into that. Now, I did a video on the ASRock ARC 310. I have not tested this one. <laughs> this is my replacement. So we will see if it does video out. Backup plan is the NVIDIA. I know that will output video, it just has to be in compatibility mode. The motherboard I'm using is an Asus H610 CSM board. Nothing really fancy, but I don't need really fancy. It's only got two DIMM slots. Probably all I'm gonna need on Unraid, even with virtual machines. I can always swap in the RAM for higher capacity if I need that. DDR4, a 12th gen 12100F, I should have bought one with a internal GPU, but when this video was supposed to get done, Amazon doesn't have any, and I didn't want to wait for a new egg, so I figured I would test the ASRock GPU. So we will see if that produces video out. For cooling, I'm gonna use the ID Cooling IS55 Black. brand new out of the box. Hopefully this one actually works. All right, so let's get the cover off and get this bad boy inserted. Okay, we are in. All right, we got everything built. We got everything hooked up. Let's see if we get video out of this Intel ARC card. So I've got a camera pointed at the monitor. Everything's hooked up. Currently don't have the Unraid USB in there right now. I just wanna see if I get picture out on the BIOS and then we'll load Unraid and go from there. Now the BIOS has been updated to the current release and we have video out. So we are good. I need to enter setup, do all that kind of good stuff. We're in Unraid. We'll go ahead and get this set up. I currently don't have internet connection to it. So it'll go ahead and start and go into Unraid, we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.